required under the law, under the Constitution, that their non-disclosure agreement with this corporation is more important than the Constitution or any laws that we write subsequent to that. That's what they're saying. I mean, could it be any clearer that we have a corporate fascist surveillance state here, that a military industrial complex company, and that's their new profit center is the police state, that they can come in and have a police department sign this paper saying, you, you can't tell a judge if you're going to actually be using this. And the police use that as an excuse. Those people ought to all go to jail. This is absolutely amazing that they would do something like this. Let's go to your... Uh, Go to your phone calls. Uh, we've got Ashley in Wisconsin. Ashley, go ahead. Um, hi, how's it going today? Doing fine. I um, actually saw an article in Vice News under War and Conflict section that I found very interesting. And the headline of it was, Why was the FBI investigating Michael Hastings reporting on Bo Bergdahl? And I didn't know, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, that Michael Hastings actually did a um, report on Bo Bergdahl. Um, and it's actually titled America's Hope. Oh, goodness, I just had it. Yeah. Whole thing switching out. But it's very interesting that I did not know that Michael Hastings was actually reporting on Bull Bird, though. Oh, yeah, we're very um, aware of it. Yeah, our, our Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs, uh, he was the one that Michael Hastings was embedded with. And... Um, and he, he knows quite a bit about the Bergdahl case. He said had several reports about it. Actually, we've got a special report from the Nightly News last night that uh, we're going to be running later on in the show from Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs. Okay, so yeah, I thought that was very interesting. I was like, ooh, I hope they know about that. That's a very interesting connection to the two. You know? Yes, yes, but, yes. Okay. Thank you for, for bringing that up. Yes, let's go to uh, Brian in Arizona. Brian. Yeah, hey, I just want to uh, touch base on the six terrorists that they got released. And uh, my, my feeling of, of it all is that he had no idea who the hell the person was that he even let go. If they did know, it's complete treason. And the only threat that we have to our country is the Obama administration. Most of all, Harry Reid keeps shutting everything down and blaming it on the, on the you know, uh, on the Republicans, which the Republicans are spineless, you name it. We can go on and on about that. Well, of course, we've but known for a long time that they, they essentially created uh, al-Qaeda. They called them... Uh, something else when they started, when they were fighting the Russians, they called them Mujahideen. But, you know, th this is something that our government creates the threat, and then they offer the solution, whether it's 9-11, whether it's the uh, al-Qaeda terrorists, they create the boogeyman, and then they come to us to uh, uh, with a solution that they've already developed. And so I think the biggest thing about this is that we need to stop tolerating this breaking of the law by the president. How many times does this have to go on before he's impeached? How can we stop it? And they're not going to do it. They're yeah. going to throw the race card in there again. Exactly. Is, this, is there some general somewhere that can stop this? Is there anything? It's got to be we the people. we got to stand up. we got to vote. we got to do what we can do to get this god-awful mess off the table. Well, that's true. I think just like with the Snowden leaks, I mean, we, we can't go in and physically arrest uh, NSA. We can't sh physically go in and shut them down. And as long as we have a government that wants to do this, there's not a great deal that we can do other than things like this reset the web. We can do things to resist it on a personal level. We can get active and we can educate people about Jury nullification, we can shut it down. It only takes one of us in a jury to shut down the war on drugs, which is really where this police state started a couple of decades ago. They've now rolled it into the war on terror. But one person sitting on a jury can shut this down. That's the beauty of the jury system. That's one of the most powerful things we have as a people. And so there are things that we can do to protect ourselves individually, to protect our family, and even to stand up for the rights of people who are on trial. But most people don't want to be bothered with a jury trial. And jury trials are so rare that most people will go in and take a plea bargain rather than uh, trust their fellow jurors. So, yeah, I don't really know what we do. Thank you, uh, Brian and Alec in uh, Arizona. Let's go to uh, Billy in California. Billy? David, um, I wanted to start off by saying I agree with you guys on about 90% of everything that you guys cover, and I think that you guys do a great job. Um, having said that, I think I disagree with you guys on on something that you guys are a big thing that you're missing. Um, I think that you guys are missing a huge conspiracy, and a conspiracy is evolution. I mean, so many Christians out there still believe in evolution. 
uh, they believe that the earth is billions of years old and that, you know, we evolved from monkeys, you know, basically saying that Genesis is, is, uh, completely not true. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't believe that, frankly, you know, I, I believe in special creation. I take the Bible literally. Um, and I don't have any problem with defending that. Uh, I mean, you know, there are the key message of the Bible is what Christ did for us. But of course, when you start talking about creation versus evolution, what you're really talking about is, uh, do we really believe the authority of the Bible? Are we going to go into science that is continually changing? And are we going to then try to read that back into the text in order to get the Bible to agree with whatever the science of the day says? I, I don't agree with that. I, I take it literally. I don't have a problem with that. If, if, uh, God can raise a man and from the dead in three days. I think he can create the earth in any time that he wants to. So we're going to be right back. We're going to take some of your calls. We're all over the map on all different things. I would like to take some calls on Ed Snowden. What do you think about this last year? Let's talk about freedom of the this press and freedom of the Internet. This programming is proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. Protect your privacy and data and render your phone or device completely undetectable. Go under the radar when your phone's not in use with BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Harvest Right is the world's first in-home freeze dryer. Freeze dry your own fruits, vegetables, meats, and full meals. With Harvest Right, you can prepare foods that last 25 years, preserving its freshness, nutrition, color, and taste. All your food can be freeze dried. So don't throw away your leftovers. Freeze dry them with this incredible in-home money-saving freeze dryer. Go to HarvestRight.com to see how the Harvest Right freeze dryer works. That's HarvestRight.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. When the day comes where the world changes forever, forever, you can be ready at a moment's notice. With Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's completely mobile and ready to go. All the comforts of an RV, but custom-built to outlast any other trailer. Learn more at survivalistcamps.com. Due to overwhelming response, limited inventory is available. Be ready with survivalistcamps.com. Survivalist Camps, providing your basic needs to survive. You've talked about it for a while. Now it's time to get your family the emergency readiness pack it deserves. And there's one site to turn to. TopPackGear.com. From large to small, you'll find kits for every purpose. And all of them can be customized by you. TopPackGear.com offers the best pre-built packs the internet has to offer. Assembled using only high-quality products vetted by pros and chosen for the best balance of quality and value. Prepare, endure, prevail with TopPackGear.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. We're talking about a variety of subjects today. We're talking about Obama's arrogance, about how he's channeling Richard Nixon. As Nixon said, if the president says it, it's not against the law. And that's essentially what we're seeing. Obama, he thinks, you know, a, a dictator is essentially somebody who just speaks the law out of his mouth. And evidently, that's what Obama thinks. He's a dictator. He changes Obamacare as he wishes. He ignores the laws uh, within the NDAA that he signed, and we have a lot of problems with what he signed, but uh, whenever he violates it, 
the Republicans just let him get away with it. They try to make a few cheap points as far as uh, with their base, as far as election purposes go. But essentially, they think that they're going to get the reins of power and they want all the power that he has. They're not about cutting back the power that the president has assumed or the power that the central government has assumed. They want that power in Washington. So we're taking your calls at uh, 800 Two five nine nine two three one. This is also the one-year anniversary of the first leaks of Ed Snowden exposing criminal activities by a criminal and secret government that believes that everyone, not just our president, but everyone in the bureaucracy, everyone in the Senate, everyone in the House of Representatives is essentially above the law. So I want to get your comments on that. Uh, Terry in Virginia, what do you think about Snowden? Ed Snowden? Yes, yes. What do you think about the Snowden leaks? What's your take on this, the, on the one-year anniversary? Well, I have thought from the very beginning that Ed Snowden was a hero. I, from the very first time I heard about what he did, I never doubted that, you know, what he was doing was really um, for the United States people and, and not trying to be, um, you know, a traitor. Right. That's where they were trying to think of. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I just have such a problem with people saying, oh, well, you know, I don't mind them spying on me because I don't have anything to hide. And my stepson said that to me just recently. And I said, well, how would you feel if there was a Peep and Tom standing outside your window, even if he was dressed in a police uniform? Yes. And they're watching you. How would you feel about that? Exactly. Well, I'd go out there and I'd, I'd beat his butt is what he said. And I said, well, it's no different. What's different about it? Alex has used that analogy many times. He said, why do we even wear clothes? You know, shouldn't everything that we have be available to the government? If you understand human nature, you understand that giving somebody that kind of power is incredibly dangerous and it will be abused. William Binney was a guest on our show. We interviewed him. And, of course, he was one of the early NSA whistleblowers. He was involved as the global technical head. In other words, he was the head technical person at the NSA for quite a long time. He worked there for over 30 years. And he had global responsibilities. And what he told us on this program when I interviewed him, he said, I've seen this in East Germany. I've seen this in the Soviet Union. In the early days when he worked for the NSA, that's what they did. They spied on people that were perceived to be a threat to the U.S. government abroad. And he's very concerned when that surveillance apparatus, that spy machine, turns inward on the American people and starts surveilling the most minute details of their lives, compiling dossiers on every individual in the country. When you allow the government to do that, you will find that they will intimidate people that they will shut down debate and people will be intimidated just by knowing that the government is watching them. They will shut up and they won't do anything. So it's a very, very dangerous thing. The other thing that happens is you find that they can blackmail very high level government officials. We've seen some very unusual things, some unusual behavior uh, from Supreme Court Chief Justice Roberts on Obamacare. Many people, even before the NSA leaks, believed that perhaps he was being blackmailed. We're going to be right back. We're going to talk about the Snowden leaks. We're also going to talk about European Central Banks going with negative interest rates. What is that about? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listening 
Edna to active participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years. And I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Infowar is worldwide. Tell your friends about Infowars and let them know that Infowars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news backed up by documented fact. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com. The truth will set them free.